So go back to well, and then to get the profile of density as a function of pressure, we can go to PT profile. Okay, PT profile or pressure and temperature profile. And let's say I only want to use one pressure. Let's say we want to inject at supercritical condition. So it's 100, 1050 PSIA. Okay, click run. So it's, it's a trick actually to get density as a function of pressure. I should get that from correlation, but of course there will be numerous correlations in the literature and I don't know what to select. I don't know what to choose. So I prefer getting the, the profile of density as a function of pressure from, from simulation or from software. Okay, so I will maximize this one. So let's see. So we start with, this is the temperature, by the way. We start with pressure. Okay, and then, yeah, this is the profile. Okay, if we go back, 1050. So, by the way, it's very important if we check the, the surface equipment. Oh, it's the condition is like this. Okay, source, riser, and then well, down to the, the well. So, PT profile. So we need to clarify what is the 800 and what is the 100, 1050. So let's check the plot. Again, I change it to pressure. Go to table. Okay, so 1050 at 80 elevation. So actually 1050 is the injection pressure. Okay, 1050 is injection pressure. Sorry, I should show the plot. Okay, so by inputting 1050, it's injection pressure at the surface. Go back to pressure. Okay, the, the table starting from 1050, the injection pressure, and then we inject across the tubing, down the tubing, and this is the reservoir pressure. Okay, this is the reservoir depth, and this is the final injection bottom hole pressure, 1,972. Okay. If I minimize, and then we check the completion. Oh, the reservoir is at 12,688. And let's check the deviation or the tubular. OK, so 11,800 is the last depth of the tubing. Okay, so it's it's well, it's just above the end of tubing. And this is the pressure profile. And we expect that at this profile along the tubing, along the well bore, the CO2 will be in, in supercritical or liquid phase. So from here we can go to plot. Show plot. This one. Okay. So the easiest thing is to plot, for example, this is the elevation. Okay, the elevation in left y axis. We can actually plot, for example, this is the pressure. I want to change the elevation to density. Or maybe change the we are showing the pressure. So select right Y axis. I prefer using the right Y axis. And let's check the density. 
this one flowing liquid density. All right. Okay, so now we have flowing liquid density and we have elevation and we have pressure. If we neglect the elevation, we can get the profile of flowing liquid density as a function of pressure, right? If I go to elevation, I change it to none, like this, then I get the profile of flowing liquid density as a function of pressure, right? It's very easy, right? Flowing liquid density as a function of pressure. So I can get the table, okay, and then I can copy this table. So later on, I can use this function, I can use this correlation, if I get flowing bottom hole pressure of some certain pressure, okay? And then I can, of course, I can get the density. Using the density, I can multiply the volumetric rate to be mass rate, okay? I can multiply the volumetric rate to the mass rate. By the way, here, you see, the flow rate is now in pound per second not in volumetric rate. It's actually mass rate, but in, in pound per second. I can, of course, change it to ton per day, right? It's easy to convert the unit. But by the way, again, you can get the profile of pressure against liquid density or liquid density as a function of pressure by doing this exercise. This is actually a trick. If you don't know the correlation between density and pressure, you can construct your pipes in model. Make sure you use compositional model, compositional PVT. You set up all the requirement, you set up the well and others, the PVT, and then you use that CO2 component. You can use pure CO2 component. You check the phase envelope generated. You can just use this PT profile and then change the parameters to be density and the pressure. And then you get the plot. You also get the table. You copy the table, and then you, you make your own correlation, correlating the density with the pressure. OK, so you can get pressure, flowing bottom hole pressure from your simulator. You get the pressure, OK, and then you get also the density and you can use the density to multiply the volumetric rate in your simulation to be mass rate, for example, in ton per day. So I think that's all. I hope this trick is useful for you. Maybe it's quite difficult to find some correlation, correlating density and pressure. So you can do the trick and I hope it's useful. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next PipeSim and CCUS video. Thank you.